Why would somebody want to be a raft guide? Just considering that, you know, these people show up, you tell them to wear uh, shoes that are going to stay on your feet, you take their keys, and then, like, you know, for better or worse, their safety is in your hands. We're going backwards. There we are. Back paddle. No, wait, wait, wait. We're Sorry, in the bushes, Logan. We're in the bushes again. Forward right side only. Hang on. Okay, so I want you to, instead of having your paddle out of the water, you need to have your paddle in the water. Because we're just like driving the boat willy-nilly, right? It's not going where you want to go. Yeah, okay. Cool. So, we're the motor and she's the rudder, the steering wheel. So, you got to steer us. Okay, forward. Mm -hmm. People definitely think that, that their guide is very special and had these skills and this was like in and eight almost unlearned ability, but a lot of it is just training and, and building on that work ethic and people skills. And keep in mind, I came into this with zero. I had been on a multi-day rafting trip and I had such a great time on that trip that it actually made me think I want to do more of this, but I didn't have any guiding experience at all. This right here is a catch phase, pull phase and then kind of crying off. So skills and strokes is definitely something that we focus on at the start. We're trying to build that strong foundation where when, when we say move the boat, fix your angle, drive us somewhere, you have three or four strokes in your toolkit that you're gonna break out and use. So we're trying to, to set you up with the tools to succeed first by saying this is how you wanna move the boat and then we can talk about why to move the boat or different ways to do it. I'm keeping it in front of my body. At bare minimum, it's next to me. It's never behind me. Okay. So the process can be kind of tricky. When uh, someone is new in the back of the guide seat and uh, they're practicing their guide strokes, it kind of reminds me of like a cow that was just born and trying to walk. It's kind of, doesn't look supernatural. Left, left turn. The South Fork of the American is like classic class three section. It's really great for people that have never been rafting before. And even if you have been rafting before, it's still a super fun section. So you start here at camp and then you'll work your way down river. And then towards the end of the day, you'll get to the gorge, which is where all the class three rapids are. Now put a draw stroke in right there. Other way, like this. Paddle out like that. So now, learning to read the water is really cool because the water does behave consistently a lot of the times. We are looking for like kind of these vague features of downstream Vs and holes. And we're looking for where these rocks are and how far they are underwater and what obstacle that's gonna create. So we have an opportunity to learn in each rapid a little more about how the river works. Don't hit us on that rock sideways. You're gonna hit it, hit it straight. Okay, I'm hitting it straight. Okay. Now let's see how far we can get in the rock. Okay. Alright, I, I have a question. Okay! <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard when people are struggling to read water because you remember like when you were struggling to read water too and, and when you were getting these basics and you couldn't spot an eddy or an eddy line. It's just kind of that shared frustration where when you see someone struggling with that you think like I remember what this feels like and you just have to fail and succeed and fail and then suddenly it'll start to click.